Hi, mate. Yeah, right. yeah you. Oh, God. All right. Hiya. Hiya. No, not yet, just got here. Not being here, is that all? No, brand new. I think you just got the box for it. Got the box? Mm. Oh, what's the force in it on me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd drive on the lamp, please. Sure. Uh, three pound each, so I want four for the lamp, though. Got four for the lamp, okay. Yeah. How much is this one, love, this, this one? Three pound each, or this one's four for the... Yeah, they're all... Do you have the cables at all? No, yeah. they never came with cables, but they are micro-USB or battery. All oh, right, got you, OK. Does it work all right? Yeah. Yeah, OK. okay. Do you have any change for ten at all, mate? For the lamp, please? Yeah, well, how many of you... Just the lamp. Just the yeah, lamp. just the lamp in there, mate. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for that, mate. Is. Cheers. No Thank you. Three games, mate. That's a pound, that one. Pound, thank you. Sorry, mate. Pound for the Blu ray, 50p for the DVD. Mm. Right, you got a pen to write on the wall. Yeah. Got any more games, or is that it? That's all I've got. Alright, no worries. Yeah, I'll just take that one, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You right, Jamie? Yeah. Oh, a bit priced up, aren't they? Yeah. No good with these nowadays. Mm. A bit obscure, the uh, titles, aren't they? That is not even on them. It's a strange one. Hmm. Pretty obscure, them titles. Games with you today, mate. Um, you're getting computer games, Carl. Actually, we've not got that. What? No, just anything. PlayStation, Xbox. Commodore 64 games. Have you? Uh, Commodore 64, there's some PlayStation 1 games. Oh, yeah, could I have a look, please? You've got any? Thank you. Sure, that does pop, mate. Can we leave all these in here? I've got more of the Commodore games that are in there, I'll get. Oh, yeah, please, mate. How much was you after for your games? Uh, three for each. Three each. Thank you. <laughs> Are these all the PS1 games you've got? Uh, I think there's more about the games. Yeah, would you be able to um, get us them when you can, please? Yeah, yeah, they're in Thank the you. Maybe I don't go to this doll for them. Pokemon stickers as well, please, mate. Pardon? Oh, should you have some, I think, stickers, aren't uh, they? Yeah, they are stickers, yeah. yeah. Three quid. Three quid, yeah. Um, mm. 
So that comes to 21. Would you do 20 for them? Yeah. It's all right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. The other game's in there somewhere, but... Yeah, no worries. What was you after for him, mate? I don't know what yeah, uh, it might be interesting a few games. There's more bits in there. Um, oh, yeah, nice. You've got a lot, haven't you? Yeah. I've got, I've got it on there. Yeah. The PS2 boxes are right at the very back. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're all right, mate. You got any PS ones all? You got to the PS one game? He's the ones he's looking at as well. Oh, yeah. I've got a suitcase full of these. Oh, look, there's loads, isn't there? I might get... Um... Oh, yeah. I'm glad you get it. Is that a troll one? Yeah. That's all right. I've got a problem with what to look out for. I've got a suit, you know, the briefcase? Yeah. I don't mind helping you to harness Oh, thank you, mate. After one of these ones, Scorpion. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I haven't like, got enough cash on me to get everything. Because oh. there, there is a lot. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? I won't be able to buy the whole lot. There's some more games in there. Um, some decent uh, looking games, though, for sure. Um, get some of these. What about the movie ones, do you reckon? I was going to maybe grab them. If you don't, I will. Yeah, I was going to maybe get the movie <laughs> ones. That's some good ones. 100% about that one. It's selling yeah. you, you've got to find the right person. So All right. I'm not 100% about that one, though. Yeah, tab Same as the paper weights. Yeah. And they, all these are wood. Yeah. Chase HQ, yeah, I played these ones. One. Yeah. Definitely that one. Yeah. Because of uh, Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Tab Oh, yeah, he's coming, by the way. But there's a hell of a lot of them, yeah. Good, the Batman one here. Buyers, yeah. But it's the only one certain ones. It's a classic, and it goes some goblins. Dizzy, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about Dizzy. I'm on top of it, yeah. You don't probably know more than me, but. No, I don't really know where I am uh, with these games, to be honest. I was playing these games, that's how sad it is. Yeah, was sure. <laughs> If you find that one, you know, with a little triangle? Oh, yeah. That one. That's the one you want. Hmm. Well, whereabouts is the triangle on, mate? No, it's it's just the main part of it. That's, oh, that's yeah, got you. The machine the main that fires thing. the bullets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The other one's better condition as well, that's right at the back. Yeah, no worries. I'll hang on for it, mate. If you, yeah, that could clean that up. That's good. Oh, yeah, okay, no worries. Where would you go? Oh, no worries. Thanks for helping us, mate. Cheers.
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Um, I'll put some games to the side, mate. Um, yeah. If you want, do, do you reckon some, there's some PS1 games somewhere? So I, I can hang on for a bit if you want. Um, sure. If there is, yeah. I'll put them aside. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how much did you have for your games, roughly? Because I picked out some that might be interesting and a light gun and the box. Well. So I've got uh, the box, light gun. It's the. Uh, hang on a sec. One, two, three, four, five, what, what nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. 19 games. Um, there's the light gone, yeah. and then the box. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know where, I don't usually get these ones, but. Um, uh, five of them, mate. Uh, um, there's another one in the box as well, right there. Yeah. Um, would you want both boxes? Uh, yeah, yeah, if that's I'll right. Do the both like. boxes 15 quid. 15, okay. Um, what about the uh, the games and the gun? A couple of quid each. A couple of quid each, all right. Um, What's that you've got there? Oh, it's just a GoPro, because I just do YouTube episodes and stuff that I pick up, that's all. How many, how many games have you got? 20? Uh, 19, yeah, and they're gone. 30 quid. 30. Yeah, go on then, I'll take them. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you. I'd like to say I collect them and that. Um, I'll just pop that there. Yeah, you have got a lot. I get them from car boots. That. Uh, 20 quid. There you go, mate. Cheers for that. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. No um, yeah, I'll probably pop back in a bit. Would you be able to put the PS1 game aside if you do get if, some? Here, yeah. But if yeah. not, they're in my unit. Yeah, cheers, mate. So, yeah, I'll pop back in a bit anyway. No yeah. Uh, um, I'll have a look at the other box when you get to it and I'll have a think. That's all right. I've, I've only got so much money on me, but um, yeah, that's fine. Thank you for all that, mate. Cheers. What do you have for your Wii stuff, mate? I wanted £10 for the old box. It's got three Wii's in it. There's oh, yeah. no remotes or anything. Yeah. You got any um, games with it? No. No. They're all tested and working. They're in. Oh, yeah. The £10 for them? £10 for them all, yeah. Okay. So, a few power, a few of the. Cool. All right, so. Yeah. yeah, it should clean up all right, I think. They do, they do work, and I have tested yeah. them myself. Yeah, nice. So you got, yeah, you got like random cables of it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Um, yeah, I'll take them, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Put them in a bag or. Nice. One. Yeah, I'll just take them straight to the car. Thanks, mate. Yeah, um, yeah you have got any other games with you? Anything we have I've got, got, I've got a couple of. 360 Oh yeah, which was you after from? Oh, there's on the floor. Which was you after from? Um, about two, uh, about 
one's two pound, one's three pound, but I don't know whereabouts yeah. it is. Ah, uh, right. So. Hey, if I just take these back to the cow, could you keep the 360 motes for us, please? Yeah. Cheers, right. so I can have a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, I'll back in a few minutes, mate. Yeah, no. Thank you. How much was you after for that, mate? Tenner. Tenner. Yeah, no worries. Nice car, mate. Oh, no. It's here. Bargain. Um, I haven't really seen much else, it's been the best stall, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'll grab that for a tenner, mate. Yeah, Thank you. Let's get a load of coins. Um, two, four. Coins is good. Yeah, yeah, I've used all my notes now. Yeah, yeah there's ten there in coins, Cheers, mate. mate. All right, you. thank you for that. Oh, which was after for these as well? Uh, fiver. Fiver. I had, a, I, I had a massive bag full of cards. Oh, I think uh, I did take some earlier for three quid. No, no, um, no, no, oh, is no, it not I'm that? A bag full. Ah. Set them out, Rob. Yeah. Well, Set one of them out. Yeah. Not yet, should. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a few doubles in here. Is there any chance you'd split them? If I just take what I need, sort of thing. Just, just All right, time, mate. Yeah, lovely to see you, mate. Thank no you. Worries, mate. So, what do you do? Collect all figures? All games? Yeah, just all games. I like retro you, Pokemon stuff. You never lose money on them, though, will you? 
No, no, I like having them. So it's good to go back to. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, thank you, mate. No worries, mate. Right. Yeah, no, I'll pop back in a bit, see if there's any other bits you've got out. Thank you. I'll do them a couple of quid each, don't worry about this. I think there's a price on that, innit? But yeah. Just I'll do that for two quid. Yeah, no worries. I'll have a think, mate. Cheers. Yeah, no worries, Thank mate. you. Okay. Do you not find them controllers yet, mate? <laughs> no. Oh, no worries. But, uh, no worries at all. No worries at all. There's one. Ta. Lovely, thanks mate. Yeah. How much is your after-throne boat? Fiver for them. Fiver. Yeah. How much is your Harry Potter books, please? Um, uh, four quid for all four. four. Yeah, I'll do that, thanks mate. Yeah. Nine. Is that all the uh, game stuff you've got? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll grab that. Um, I want £20 for the pair. That one's the bottom one's full of just the shop glass. Mm. Yeah, I'll just take these two actually, mate. So yeah. seven all together, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers. Uh, yeah, go on then. Yeah, seven there, mate. Yep, Thank cheers, you. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Thank you, mate. Yeah, yeah. I got like the main titles and that, and they look all right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for your help on them, by the way. I appreciate it. Couple of them I'm not sure of, but yeah. couple that was. Yeah, I knew some of the main ones, ones and that, so. but yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate that, no, mate. I'll, I'll Very much appreciated. Yeah, definitely. If you want any help, just let us know. Right. Thank you. You're looking at that, Sam, or is it priced? No, no, no. no, no. Yes, go on. <laughs> that what it is, well, How much is it? Um, Here it is. Oh, is it in there? Is it? Oh. PS2 with all the games. Set the other thing out. Um, what, an abba? <laughs> How much did you have for your PS1, mate? Sorry. Oh, don't know. Um, it's cheap, so you can get them. Oh, yeah, got you. you yeah, yeah. 15? All right, yeah, I'll have a think on it. Thank you. Okay. How much your PS2 one, though? Sorry? How much is all this one? 30 quid for all that. We've already, we've already looked, and um, the PS2 and games and that are like 80 quid still. So we're just selling the whole lot for 30. I might, yeah, come down for a for mm -hmm. I might come yeah. down for a tenner for that. Would you sell any of the games on their own at all? No. No. We'll sell it all together. Okay. No worries, thank you. All right, love. I know they're decent, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Nice. 
How much would you have for this, mate? Public quid. Quid. That was mine, that was it. Yeah. The battery might be tired. A bit like all of us, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You say you wanted five, five on that, mate? How much do you have for your snares as well, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. And a skill, like... Right, just to have a look, is that right? Cheers. Yeah, the same, right? You just have to really look at them because they can be imitated and that. Oh, yeah, it's not a coffee. Yeah. All right, just need some thumbsticks on. I'll probably have this match. I just need to see if the thumbsticks are easy to attach, that's all. See if I can just grab some on eBay or Amazon. Oh, the um, tops. Yeah. yeah. They are, yeah. They're like 2 PS4 like controller. Gate, so. Thumb grips. Oh, yeah, that should be fine. Um, yeah, sorry, mate. What was it? Five and two pounds, was it? Yeah, I'll grab these. Thanks, mate. Yeah, but it's a bit of change there. All right, is that all right? Thank you. No, Cheers. Yeah, can I take that one, please? Thank you. There you go, thank you. Lovely. Cheers. Thank you. How much was your tops, mate? Um, two pound for that one. Two. Yeah, I'll take that one, Tar. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.
Yeah, was this 50p, these tops, mate? That's a bit of 50p, yeah. 50p, yeah. Yeah, I'll have this one, thank you. Yeah. There you go, thanks. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. That's the trouble with them, you see, you don't know you've got them. I was behind a bloke in Tesco's, but I shoved a tenner in his pocket like that. It shot out, landed on the floor. So I said to him, here, so if you have to tell me. He said, no, I did. He said, he's like, thanks ever so much, Rob. I said, that's because they're springing. They're springing out. Have you got any more? Is it the ones in here, is it? Um, no, there's more in the PS3 here. Oh, nice, thank you. Let's have a little look. How much you have for the PS3, please? Um, for the actual thingy? Yeah, for the console. How much you want for it? Tenner. Tenner? Okay. Um, how much with the games and stuff? Do you know? Is it 20 quid? No, do you want... How many games do you want? Okay. Um, Thank you very much. Just ten. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have yeah. to go to the cash point here, because I've, I've kind of spent up a bit, but... um. Not sure. If you took um, the games mm. in the in the actual console, mm. fifteen quid. Fifteen, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Can I take all the games for 20? Yeah. You know, for that, yeah. and, and the game's 20. Yeah, yeah lovely, thank you. Welcome to the first Carbu video of the season. Let's go. Live pickups, and here I am in our chill and chatting section, chilling with you guys, showing you what we managed to pick up. Um, yeah, it's so good to be back, guys. Just going to kick back and uh, talk you through all the awesome pickups that we got. So, yeah, cheers and thank you uh, for being here. I appreciate all you guys and girls. So, I have been grinding away. It is Sunday. Um, I've just literally edited all the car boot footage um so uh yeah I, I need to if you guys have noticed my car boot videos in the past and um, 
in, a, in the pickup section like it's a little bit choppy sometimes it's because I stutter a little bit sometimes there's that which I want to say um, I'm so damn chatty all about communication and uh, yeah so sometimes I have to like cut things out when I stutter and stuff uh, but I, I need to try, try to do this in one take because we need to get this episode out there I'm so hyped uh, to show you guys so yeah we'll jump into the pickups um it's difficult to kind of gauge what order they were in but um we've got a bulky crate just to the side of us so i'll show you guys that right now um as you will have seen um i did spot um some wee stuff in in the uh, boot of a car um and uh yeah so we had three wee consoles uh, i haven't actually properly looked in, in this box yet because there's all assorted wires and they're not all wee ones um, I'm, I've, I haven't checked these wheels. Ivory said he did test them and everything. They obviously they really need a good clean up. Um, so I don't know if they might have any games in them. I'm really not sure. Um, so I think uh, a couple of them have the the cover. This one, I think there is a loose one in there actually. So yeah, there's a bit of organising to be done with that. Um, don't don't know if I have any spare remotes or nunchucks, but um, yeah, it's definitely something we can look out for. Obviously um spare things to uh, make some setups uh, with these but yeah the sensor bars and stuff um i'm not sure exactly what that's from yeah there's there's all sorts of different uh cables in here um like i say not not exactly all we stuff i'll show you guys it literally is so assorted in here it's crazy um there's a there's a big um power uh, block here as well it's for the xbox 360 um, so yeah, there's lots of spares um, floating about in here. Um, some like cases and stuff like that for things. Uh, yeah, sensor bar. Looks like to be some uh, 360 wires as well. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Um, three Wii consoles. Um, he, he did say the tested and working, so we can keep our fingers crossed with that uh, for a cheeky tenner. So uh, yeah, I thought that was decent. I didn't want to turn that down. Uh, we can definitely clean those up and make some complete setups, I'm sure. Um, so what are we moving on to? Freaking crazy guys. Like we did so good. We did incredible. And I really enjoyed editing that footage as well. There was a, a few um comedic moments as well. It was uh, pretty funny. Um there's that that woman, it's like an old woman, she was saying, it's towards the end of the uh the footage, and she was saying, like, uh, yes, yeah, so I was behind this bloke in Tesco, and I think she was complaining about some kind of pockets in something, some kind of garment of clothing or something like that. And she said, uh, yeah, he put a, put a tenner in his pocket and then and then he dropped on the floor. And I said, you've dropped it. He said, oh, thanks ever so much. Love. And then it, literally just as I went past it, I literally thought like, um, it reminded me of like the good citizen bonus from uh, GTA Vice City. Like, I really thought it deserved to appear uh, next to the woman. So I was like, you know, we'll edit that into the footage. Um, but yeah, it's real funny. Um, there's always there's always funny moments, guys, whenever my GoPro battery has died or, you know, whenever I'm switching it off, like, intermittently, because I sometimes do um, if I'm waiting for more cars to come in. So I have to try and preserve the battery because it does die after, like, um, about two and a half hours. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I do miss some gold moments. So it's great to um, eavesdrop and capture some. Um, there was one as well. I went past this stall and it was real random. It was just uh, some lad and his mum and he said, like... Um, yeah, do you remember, um, it was something like Stepdad Dave or Stepdad Keith or something, and he was like, yeah, he always stunk a B.O., didn't he? And it was it was so random. Uh, <laughs> they're so funny to pass. So, yeah, to, to capture it on GoPro footage, um, I think it's really funny, and I'll always keep it in the episodes because, like, I just think it's really entertaining. Um, but anyway, I, I did launch into the pickup. So you guys will notice we're not actually in the game room because it's become absolutely overrun with stuff. Um, we've de definitely not got any room. But yeah, I have got um, some Resident Evil 2 uh, original in the background being played by the one and only JJ from Resident Evil. Um, it's a channel I watch a lot. So yeah, I thought we'll have um, obviously a play for in the background because that's what I've always wanted. Like I've really wanted that for the, for the videos and um, to have you know, some gameplay in the background. So I thought, you know what, we'll we'll chill in, uh, it's a proper gamer's chair, this. Like, as you can see, I look, I probably look dead tiny in this. Um, yeah, proper gamer's chair, uh, awesome for gaming and for chilling with movies and stuff. So yeah, this is my living room, guys. Um, I, I've not got much of a living room, it's an absolute tip at the moment. Uh, now car boot season has started. There's stuff all over the place. So uh, yeah, you know car boot season has started when uh, you no longer have a living room. Are any, can any of you guys relate? Living room, bedroom, spare bedroom, whatever. I'm sure you stash all your finds, um, you know, wherever you can in the house. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, moving on. Um, 
what did I get? I've got quite a few controllers uh, here as well, actually. Following on from that wee bundle, um, when I went back for those couple of 360 controllers, he did say he found those and he just chucked those in. So that was uh, kind of him. So obviously those will go uh, with the wee stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I did see um, sort of looking at this. Um, and it, like you say, from a glance, it, it did look genuine. And I, I believe it is because I, I did look online. Um, so yeah, a couple of quid for a PS3 controller. It is worse, a bit worse for wear, but I actually don't mind, even if they're a bit grubby like, I'll, I'll easily clean these up. It's not a problem. I don't mind doing, you know, a bit of graft and cleaning them up. So um, yeah, a couple of quid for a PS3 controller. Uh, I can always have it as a spare anyway, uh, if I don't move it on uh, elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I had to take this out, um, you know, out of the packaging. It, it looks all right to me. Um, you've got to watch for these because, like I said in the video, they they are notorious to be um, faked. There's so many replicas around, and e even the sun that looks similar like this. They're not like the, you know, you see like the double shock for us, but real, real uh, obviously fake. And um, the sun that are quite subtle. Yeah, you've got to check things like um, make sure the PlayStation logos like smack bang in the centre of. Um, of, of that button because uh, sometimes they're just a bit off center uh, it's things like that i'm not an absolute expert but yeah i, I did get my phone out and i told the guy like because um i wasn't gonna um barter with that with a fiver for a box ps4 controller um you know even, even if it spares and repairs you, you make money on that all day any day um but yeah i was honest with him i just said like um you know I, i'm just looking um to just compare the packaging that's all because he did say it wasn't directly his the ps3 one was his not this one um and also it does need some thumbsticks as well so i was just literally looking on my phone as well uh where, where it's best to source them it'll be ebay or amazon anyway uh just for a couple of quid so yeah not too bad at all um not too shabby on those controllers um got the the xbox controllers as well the 360 ones the, these are in decent nick because uh, most of the time, uh, especially with 360, I always find the uh, the, the rubber, um, you know, grips on, on the thumbsticks, that they're, they're always worn or they're not there at all. Um, so hopefully these will work all right. Um, so yeah, I think, I um, can't remember which one was which. He said one was £2, one was £3. Not sure which way around that was, but um, yeah, definitely wasn't going to argue with those. I don't mind for a couple few quid. Uh, I buy controllers all the time. Um, you know, always... Um, I could always um, clean them up nice, um, and like you say, uh, always check the uh, the battery compartment, make sure there's no um, no corrosion in there. So yeah, I always uh, always check that. It's a bit firm this one. There we go. Yeah, they're all good anyway. So yeah, really nice to see. Um, yeah, well, I got quite lucky with controllers at uh, this car boot. Yeah, and like like you saw. Um, couple of items of clothing as well. I uh, saw this for 50p. I thought that was all right. Cod Modern Warfare uh, 3 t-shirt. Like I say, it is um, from some years ago. I can't remember exactly. 2011. So yeah, 12 years old right now. That's crazy. Um, not my favourite cod in the series, but yeah, it's, it's still uh, one too bad. But yeah, you know, some things that are too nice to leave behind, you know, for 50p. I uh, thought that was decent. Um, and like you say, I, I do obviously search mainly, uh, as you guys will know, um, for gaming pickups. But I, I do get the odd miscellaneous things as well for myself. Um, so there's a few coming up. There's a few here. Um, like I say, I, I do really love looking for designer gear and brands that I like. Um, so I, I always find pretty green on there. Um, so yeah, I always look like for myself and for like family members and stuff. Cause I have family members who, who like stuff off the car boot. You know, that's in decent condition, provided it's all, uh, you know, all right condition, you know, and it'll wash and iron up well. It's, it's decent. So, yeah, for a couple of quid, really smart, um, pretty green polo. So, yeah, the, there's some real nice gear on the um, the car boots. I found things myself like uh, Fred Perry stuff, Lacoste stuff. Yeah, I, I love stuff like that. I do love my designer gear. So, uh, yeah, you can get them uh, real cheap. Obviously, you've got to keep, keep your eye, just make sure you don't... Uh, find any fake ones um there are ways of looking just check the logos uh, closely the tags etc uh, but yeah for the most part you're usually okay um so i've got a couple of harry potter books as well a bit of harry piss pot i do uh, delve into the world of harry piss pot sometimes um i just needed these towards a complete set so uh, to pick these up for a quid each that was really nice so i thought i'd grab those um and then yeah 
as well you guys will know um i do pick up the odd movies uh mainly blu-ray or sometimes i will get the dvd if it didn't get a blu-ray release um and the reason i do this i i think it's really important well if you're a movie fan, I'm not saying for everyone, but um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of movies. It, you know, I love chilling and watching movies. Um, and I think it's really important to have a physical collection. Um, you know, because sometimes if you really fancy watching a movie and it's a bit more of an obscure one, they're not always on the stream sites. Like I've I've, I've got Netflix, Amazon Prime, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus. I have the lot because I, I just like the content that's on there. Um, you know, and I like being able to you know, watch most things, but there's the odd movie um, that isn't available. And, that, you know, there's been times where I've really fancied watching stuff and it's just not available anywhere, not even on, like, Sky TV or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, this one, it, it's a little bit more of a kind of um, kind of obscure one, but I, I think it's a little hidden gem. It's called Into the Blue, and it's got Paul Walker and Jessica Alba in this. Um, so, yeah, it's set in, like, the uh, Bahamas, uh, tense underwater action adventure, um, yeah, they come across a legendary shipwreck, uh, rumoured to contain millions in gold. Um, so yeah, they basically go, um, go and try and get that. Um, but yeah, nearby on the ocean floor, they on Earth, another more sinister mystery. Um, yeah, like you say, I, I think it's a little hidden gem movie. I do love Paul Walker movies. Um, he was a, a phenomenal actor. So uh, yeah, I, I do pick up the odd movie. Uh, and I like to share it with you guys. I love I love sharing my, my other interests with you guys, you know, aside from games. Um this was an absolute banger absolute banger so obviously um in the exterior it is a little worse for wear so it will need scrubbing up but a sealed um dual shock to playstation 2 controller um, i have just noticed actually it's got it's got a little crack there it's a little crack there unfortunately but um it is sealed unused unbelievable a tenor there was no way i was um you know um battering at a tenner that is a, an absolute sound price i'd pay that any day for this um, i did actually find one of these i'm talking like probably about five years ago six years ago um it'll be on one of my really early episodes i think um it was at the saturday cabo um yeah and i found one of these i think it was either i don't know if it was either two quid or four quid um but yeah absolutely um incredible to find it really was um so this was from um an awesome stall. It was the house clearance guy um, with all the um, the PS1 games, the Commodore 64 games. So, uh, yeah, I'll get to those um, very shortly. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the best stalls. And there was also a stall that was absolute gold at the end as well. I've not actually been through the full pickup myself yet. I've literally saved it for the video because there are so many games within that pickup. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, so, yeah. Uh, really awesome to get that for a tenner. Um, I'm really glad I went back. So like I say, I did pick up the PS1 games and, and the Commodore 64 um, and the light gun as well, PS1 light gun. Um, and then like I say, he didn't know if he had more PS1 games. Um, so I said I, I'd check back with him, but um, unfortunately he didn't. He said there must have been in his uh, storage unit. Um, but yeah, it, it always pays to just go back and check when, especially clearance guys, because they bring so much to the car boot. It always pays uh, to go back and check. Uh, so to see this lie in there was absolutely awesome. So a tenner for a sealed um, silver PS2 controller. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, I saw this. Um, it's actually a Pokemon tin. It's obviously it's decorated in Pokemon stickers. Uh, they've done it pretty well, actually. I like it. It's real snazzy. I, I won't actually get rid of this tin. I'll keep it and uh, store these in. But yeah, within here, they're not actual Pokemon cards. But I saw, um, I did pick up some stickers, actually. I'll show you in just a sec. Oh my god, it's absolutely jammed on. This is jammed. There we go. <laughs> so these are cards and also um like uh pogs or like tazos, whatever you like to call them. Um so yeah, loads of I don't know what exactly these ones are called. The, yeah, these are like the tops trading cards. So there's absolute there's loads within here. Loads of them. Um I do have some of them. Um, but obviously, yeah, need lots for the collection though. Um, what I also love, I love these ones, the um, the TV and uh, like movie cards. Love these ones. So I think they're from the yeah they're from the TV uh, animation. Um, but there's also ones from like the actual uh, Pokemon the movie and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got some of those. So yeah, there's some from the episodes. Really cool to see. Uh, you don't see these that often really. 
uh, so, uh, even the tops cards as well that you know don't always um it's a really nice shiny uh geo dude one as well um so yeah like i said i just had a real quick scan through and he did say a fiver for these which i would have paid anyway um because you don't come across them that often uh, i need some for the collection i will have to go through uh, what i already have and um yeah see what i can slot in, into the collection um especially these tassos you don't see these either um, and th honestly these are my childhood guys so I'll, i will absolutely i will pay up for nostalgia um yeah uh, I, like I say I, I saw so some of these they are actually like the cardboard ones i can't remember what exactly these came with and then some of these are actual um walkers tazos do you remember when you used to get the tazos in crisps those were the freaking days guys they were so good they were up there with um you know like the little toys you'd get in cereal boxes like it is so nostalgic they're so cool to pick up um but yeah obviously he, he initially asked a fiver for them and i would have paid that but when i did go through obviously i was you would have seen on the video i was quickly scanning through the tops card there was quite a few doubles and i said to him like could i just root through and take what i want and you know will you split them and then he just said just give us three quid for the lot i was like you know what we'll, we'll do that um you know and i can obviously just filter through see what i need see what i can trade with other people um and move on so that'll be cool um so yeah i'll pop these back down here and then these are the um the bag of uh, stickers that i found you don't you don't see the stickers often either it's crazy we've got we've got a small smaller sticker oh yeah we've got some small ones and then we've got some larger ones i don't know what um so these are merlin ones i think yeah i, I can't remember these this is crazy like not come across these in in so long sorry they're, they're like all upside down so i don't know what to do with my hands <laughs> um but yeah there, there are so many so just absolutely loads here i don't know um yeah they're all numbered and stuff so i could maybe um i mean if there's quite a few i could see if there's some like you know spare ones on ebay see how many there is on here um and see if i could potentially there could be like some like new old stock of like the albums um online so that's definitely something i could pursue yet another collection on the go <laughs> yeah i collect a lot of um retro pokemon I, I will always pick it up any day always um so yeah these are these are dated 2000 just absolutely loads so these are um it says duncan boomer on the back 150 stickers to collect I'm wondering if there is a full set as well, you know, because there are that many. There's just that many here. Um, so, yeah, it'll be so cool to just chill and go through these. Yeah, really awesome. Um, so, absolute find uh, these ones, guys. I really was. Um, I'm glad I checked as well because I was very uh, tunnel visioned with the PS1 games. I was really tunnel visioned with them. And obviously, this was just chilling uh, in the box just behind them. Um, I really did... Um, strike gold with um with the house clearance uh, stall i really did and um, so happy with it yeah it was an absolute gem of a stall um, and i was there literally on my own as well um apart from kind of initially didn't get disturbed whatsoever on that stall um because that's what um sometimes you can't always like enjoy what you what you find in stuff like and like I said, when I was looking at these PS1 games that I'm about to show you guys, you'll be able to have a, a proper look now. I'm sure you, you caught what titles there were anyway, but um, I feel like uh, I can't chill or anything, and I really had to keep those close to me, those PS1 games. Uh, you, you don't see them that often at my car boot, you see, um, especially even retro Pokemon stuff as well. Um, this stuff, you, you don't see that often, so that's what I mean when I say I've really struck gold. Uh, this one all it can take is just one or two you know amazing stalls to save the day because uh, it was pretty it was a little slow up until then um but yeah then we steadily like you say made pickups um throughout but the the two stalls there was obviously this house clearance one then one right at the end i'm so glad i went up and um because i was about to get going and i'd, I'd just seen him pull up and um it, it's kind of a little tip for you guys like they sometimes do rock up a bit later at the car boot, you know, people with kids, because, um, you know, even from like little kids to, I don't know, 10 year old, whatever, um, you know, teenage, whatever. But um, they, they sometimes, I always find, not always, but sometimes they can tend to turn up a bit later. So do hang on 
um, if you're doing laps around, just do hang on for the cars that come in because uh, I just think it's like maybe um, they can't always get their absolute early doors because obviously they have to pack, sometimes they have to pack things in the car, they have to get the kids sorted as well, so that's obviously time consuming. So they, they can turn up a bit later, so uh, do like, you know, keep keep on the lookout for the later cars. Um, and yeah, I saw a young lad with a, a lady and I don't actually always ask, I don't always ask at the stalls. Um, You'll see on some um, videos that I do, but um, it's not always. Um, but sometimes I just get a feeling. I just want to ask. Um, same with this clearance one. It just looked like there was a lot there. So I was like, I just thought, oh, I'll ask the guy on the off chance. Because, you know, clearance uh, guys, they, they usually do have some games dotted about, right? They're not always gold, but they usually do have something uh, game related or tech related as well. They have their electricals and stuff. So um, always worth an ask. Um at the clearance stalls and I've not really not really like built relationships with any of them or anything but um you know I've, a few of them know me by face and stuff so um you know if you can try and establish contacts it can help you further down the line um but yeah again when I saw that woman with the lad I just thought just on the off chance I said you got any games and uh, she said loads and I was like oh my god I was like I hope I'm not disturbed like I need to get to these and fortunately um the the bags were already out like she just brought them straight over to me uh you wouldn't have seen that because um like you say i, I was ready to get going and get a mackie's breakfast uh breakfast was calling um yeah but like you say, i thought I'll, I'll just go and walk over on the off chance when when i saw the games i thought oh my god i've got to put the gopro back on uh got like a, a few minutes of footage out of it and then the battery did die because obviously it was right at the end of the car boot but i'm so happy um, I captured that and yes I did pay for them because um, I think it by the time I'd paid I think it shows me getting my coins out but um, yeah the, by the time I paid I think it had cut out the battery had gone uh, so yeah please rest be sure I have paid for for uh, the large bundle at the end uh, but yeah anyway on to more of the uh, the clearance stuff um, it was so cool um, so yeah he said he had PS1 games I was absolutely like a kid in a candy shop I really was um, so happy when he said ps1 because uh, i've missed out on loads ps1 uh over, over the car boots i really have um and it, it's not something that always comes up at mine um so you're really cool he was asking three quid for these so um absolutely no worries at all um yeah i'd absolutely any day pay that any day guys um so yeah what's i gonna say yeah just thinking so I, I paid 20 quid i think didn't i I paid like 20 for these um yeah yeah i think I paid 20 pound for these so far um sorry i've had to do a lot of calculations today <laughs> um so yeah let's go through the pickup so we've got one called cyber deck i feel like i've seen that before um i've no idea um exactly what this is about ready for a funked up trip through the cyber zone Grab your hover deck and wave goodbye to reality. Deck masters Zacho and Mia are off on a frantic mission to save their mates. Hone your skills in the deck pack, then head for level one of the ice world to begin your battle against evil Kraken. Complete each level to open up the next and see if you reach the final showdown against Kraken and his weirdo army. Okay. So it's in the deck pack. So yeah, it must be like some kind of like skateboarding one or something. Um, really cool. So as you guys can see, it is a um a rental copy and that's actually the instructions i didn't see it properly uh, when i when i saw that um but yeah it looks like probably quite a kidly friendly game it is a three plus um definitely not one i've seen much on um so yeah no idea on the value of it or anything like that it might be nothing uh, it might be a little bit more because it's a rental copy um but it is awesome to see a rental copy at the car boot it really is guys like because the, the nostalgia is there you know for the uh you know, for the for the old uh, rental stickers on things and stuff. So cool. It's, it's actually a Blockbuster one as well. Warning, if this label is broken, you must purchase this game. <laughs> Blockbuster UK Group Limited. Hell yeah. It's so cool, man. So cool. I love seeing old uh, rental stuff. Uh, so it says 1998 as well. So that was a release, yeah. Okay, so other games which you guys will uh, more than be familiar with. Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. All of them uh, appear to be complete with manual, all decent condition as well. Really nice. So yeah, this this is really nostalgic for me. I used to play this a lot as a kid. Um, there's a particular level, I can't remember which one it is. Um, but yeah, the, I, I love all the levels anyway. Um, 
sick game. It really is. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend that to you guys. And Bubsy 3D. So th this isn't meant to be that good um, from what I've heard anyway, for, you know, from the YouTube videos I've seen and stuff like that. It's not meant to be that popular or that um, groundbreaking Bubsy 3D. Um, but yeah, I, I believe there's, there's Bubsy on the SNES, right? I've not played that one, so I don't know how that is, but um, still cool to see. And I will keep this in the collection and um, uh, give this a go for sure. Uh, Croc, Legend of the Gobbos, Platinum. So always good to see Croc. I do believe, like I know we got some love, but I still regard Croc as a bit of a lost um, PS1 mascot, to be honest. And I think Gex is up there with him as well. I think Gex is a little less under, a little less appreciated as well. Um, but yeah, I wish Croc would have been a, a little bigger than what it was. Um, I would love to go and um, do another play for this, do a, a nice uh, retro stream of Croc for sure. Uh, Mickey's Wild Adventure. Played this briefly at uh, my mate's house um, some years back. And it's actually uh, quite difficult for a kid's game. I think it is. Right Beastie Manual as well. Chunky but funky. All really nice condition. Um, they're all good uh, internally. Um, they're just very, very grubby on the outside. Um, but yeah, I'll give all these a, a real nice uh, wipe down and stuff. Uh, so yeah, cool to see. And also um, Hercules as well. I'm sure it probably nostalgia for um, a lot of you guys. Um, it really is a, a proper kid favourite. It is up there. Um, lots of people remember Hercules, including myself. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, really cool. Um, so again, some of these levels are hard as well. Um, yeah, uh, some of them could be a bit challenging. Uh, some of the old kids' games. Uh, but yeah, three quid each. And I think for the quality of what's there, you know... I, to me, they're quality games. Um, you know, Bubsy, Obscure, uh, Cyberdeck, you really don't see rentals at all um, out in the wild, not much, not very often. Um, and, you know, uh, Hercules, Mickey's Wild Adventure, you know, pretty popular uh, kids' classics. And then Croc and Bugs Bunny, quality titles uh, in my view. So they're absolutely, um, absolutely worth picking up. Uh, so for three quid each, I'll pay that all the time. Um, I won't, like, you know... Definitely one bar trim of that. Um, yeah, I think, uh, what else did I get? So then with the Commodore 64 games, um, I did see a light gun. I've wanted one of these for so long. Um, and actually, yeah. Uh, oh, that's a bit stiff, that that trigger. I might have to... Um, I can always open it up and have a look. I don't know if it's actually meant to be like that. I didn't check. I was Honestly, I was literally that, um, that buzzing. I just thought, yeah, yeah, definitely picking it up. So, yeah, this is the Scorpion 2 uh, light gun. Uh, really nostalgic for me. I've never actually owned one, but I remember um, uh, using one with Resident Evil Survivor, the first Resident Evil light gun game on the PlayStation 1. Um, yeah, I remember playing it briefly at uh, my uncle's house uh, back in the day. So, really awesome to have this. I can't wait to clean it up, and hopefully uh, it's in full working order. I really like... Um, Love the material as well. Um, you know, on the side, that wooden kind of effect. Um, I love how it's actually got, if you guys can see, it actually fits my hands pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, it's quite caters to small hands as well. Uh, you can see, like, the um, the fingerprint marks in it. So it's a real comfy fit. It's really cool. Um, but, yeah, I'll just have to take a look at that trigger. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be quite firm. Uh, it seems all right, actually, now I've clicked like a million times. It should be all right. <laughs> Probably because it's not, you know, uh, much use in uh, some time, as you can uh, see from the condition and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I say, guys, I, I did put a thing up on screen. Like, I have no idea if any of you were shouting at the screen, why have you not picked that up, why have you not? But I have no idea when it comes to things like, um, you know, Spectrum, Commodore 64, any of your, your cassette-based um, consoles, admittedly. I've no idea, but obviously I saw a lot of classic titles within there, movie titles as well. So obviously they, they seem too nice to leave behind. Um, and it, it was actually like a couple of quid each. Um, so yeah, I got 19 games um, plus the um, the Scorpion 2 light gun um, for 30 quid. So like I said, I wasn't um, complaining at that. Because I've not checked the value of these titles, but I'm sure there's some bangers in here to be honest so yeah i'll talk you through these guys there's, there's absolutely loads so 
uh, yeah, really well known and loved franchises. So we've got Chase HQ, Back to the Future 3, Predator 2, The Untouchables. I love that movie. That's a great movie, that. There's Batman, uh, The Caped Crusader. I just really love the artwork on that. So classic. There's the, the New Zealand story. I do have that for the PC Engine. Uh, so yeah, some of these I do actually have um, on other uh, consoles. Uh, we've got Dizzy, Treasure Island. Wonder Boy. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Yeah, I've got that for the, uh, the Mega Drive. Love Moonwalker. Bubble Bobble. Big fan of that uh, game series. Love Bubble Bobble. What else have we got? I can't even remember half the stuff I picked up. Uh, we've got Troll. Dizzy Panic. Ghost and Goblins. That is solid, that on the net. It's, it's absolutely solid game. Um, Double Dragon 2. Double Dragons are always good. Uh, Paperboy. It says Game of the Year on that as well. Yeah, I love Paperboy. Again, it's got Paperboy 1 and 2 on the Mega Drive. And then I think these are the final ones. Yeah, final games. Um, we've got... Uh, oh, nice. Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Some sick titles in here. Double Dragon. A Chiller. I don't know anything about that, but it just looks cool. <laughs> I just love the whole Dracula vibe. Um, yeah, love the love the artwork on it. It's so cool, man. Um, and then Salamander. I think that's quite a pricey one, that, for the um, the PC Engine. I, I don't have that one yet. But, yeah, it is on my list for sure. But, um, yeah, like I say, absolute um, gem of a stall, the, um, the House Clarence one was, the Clarence guys. Uh, so, yeah, mega grateful. Um, Real reasonable prices as well, to be honest. Um, you know, got a lot of things off there. Obviously got the PS1 games, uh, Commodore 64 games, uh, all the Pokemon stickers and cards, uh, the Scorpion 2 light gun for the PlayStation 1, and also, um, obviously, the sealed uh, PS2 controller. So, um, absolutely, um, what a stall. Um, and, yeah, like I say, absolute solid titles there to start a collection up. So, we're uh, really grateful uh, to have found all those guys. I really am. Um, so... Also within the video, you'll have seen, um, I think it's probably the maybe the first purchase or one of the first purchases. Um, it's an Xbox Lava Lamp. They did say it was in full working order. Uh, I was actually searching for the cables for it. Um, and I think it does py uh, power up via, um, yeah, micro USB just there. Um, or I think it's, yeah, three AAA batteries. So I'll test that out soon. Uh, I do actually already have one boxed, but... Um, yeah, I could maybe keep this one, um, you know, either down here or, you know, in the game room or whatever. Um, I could maybe keep my other one boxed. But um, it was too nice to leave behind for £4. Um, obviously, there was the other Xbox signs there for, like, £3. But, um, yeah, there's nothing um, I'd be too bothered about. But you cannot be an awesome lava lamp. I do have the PlayStation lava lamp when that came out. in. Um, that was quite big in B&M, wasn't it, um, some years ago. Um, but, yeah, really awesome. Um, I was really happy to find that. It's cool to have, um, like, a spare one on the go. I'll pop that to one side. Um, then also, uh, a stray game uh, on its own. Um, GTA 5 for a quid. Can't go wrong. Um, obviously, when, when you do um, pick them up, always just make sure you've got both discs in there. Uh, I mean, to be fair, even if um, both discs aren't, it's not the end of the world. If I do find one with either the install or the actual game disc... Uh, I'll let them know, and then I'll say, well, you do 50 peaks. It's kind of an incomplete, well, it is an incomplete game. Uh, and they'll usually say, yeah. And believe me, you will find the other discs um, on your travels. You will. You'll find lots of um, one-disc GTAs or just the stray discs on their own. Uh, very easy to match up. Um, and like I say, um, it's got the manual. It's not got the map in it, though. Uh, you are meant to have the map. And there is a little um, uh, DLC um, thing for the, the blimp as well. Uh, so yeah, um, it, like I say, always worth picking up um, for the um, CX trade credit. Always worth it. Um, so yeah, guys, it is on to um, the final pickup and the final stall. 
absolutely unbelievable this was so um ps3 console there's some xbox one and 360 games as well uh, there's a ps4 controller in there i noticed um because at first i was looking at picking things apart and picking what i wanted um, i thought i will ask her like i i literally scraped the money for this because I'd, I'd really spent up um I, I wasn't absolutely balling um at the car boot i had to wait um you know i've, I've got to wait uh, to pay day to, to actually be balling uh but yeah i still had a decent amount of money um but yeah it took my last uh, i had about 25 quid i think left and th this took my last 20 uh, it took 20 quid so yeah like i say i thought i'd ask on the off chance i said how much is your ps3 console and she said 15 for that and the games and these games were i took a few games aside that i was going to pick out and then there was another bag of them and then she said 15 for that and the games but i didn't know if she meant the console and the games within that bag because she kind of pointed to it you know she said if you want the games in it but then i was like i don't want to be tight and like grab all the games and be like well yeah you know 15 for them and all the games i was like there's another bag for and i was like well you know for for these games as well that i've put aside and stuff i was like um will, will you do 20 for a moment she said yeah so absolute deal and a half guys so yeah i'm literally going through this for the first time with you guys i have no idea um what is in here um so yeah obviously um not tested it just yet but hopefully it works um if not like you say for, for 20 quid for this massive bundle um that you know we can always spare and repair it that, that's what i think if things are cheap enough i always think what's you have to think like you know what's the worst um to quote dr pepper my favorite uh, drink um what's the worst that can happen you know and can i make my money back if you think it's a risky purchase just think can i make my money back if if it's not working you know uh for spares and repairs or or, or split it and sell it in parts or whatever um, so yeah, hopefully it works. Uh, don't know what gigabyte it is. No, I don't know how to uh, tell, to be honest, uh, without going on the actual system. So fingers crossed uh, it works okay. Fingers crossed for that, guys. Um, pop that to one side just there. I mean, I'm totally going to end up running out of room. Um, and then, yeah, this is the PS4 controller that I saw. Uh, it looks absolutely fine, uh, buttons-wise and stuff. Um, I think... Yeah, the, the thumbstick, uh, the rubbery parts on the thumbstick, a little bit worn, um, worn label on the back. But, you know, not not the worst uh, example of a controller. Um, we can definitely uh, clean that up for sure. Um, what else have we got? We've got the, the wires. Yeah, we've got all the all the wires and stuff, the power cable. I think the AV's down there uh, amongst the pile of games. Um, and then there's uh, the PS3 controller as well. I did briefly see it, uh, DualShock 3. So yeah, that, that looks all good to me from a glance. Um, so yeah, all these games, guys, uh, let's go through them. Um, there, there looks to be some class games within here. Um, it's got Sonic Unleashed. I think with some of the valuable ones, I'll, I'll just take a look and see if they're complete and they got the, the disc and stuff. Yeah, so no no Manuel, but we got the disc. Um, got Sonic Unleashed. Um, the, the inlay's just a little bit torn. I think it's... I'm not sure on the value of this. I don't know if it's um yeah worth anything or not. I know um Sonic um it's just called Sonic the Hedgehog, isn't it? I can't remember exactly. Was it 2008, I think was it out? Sonic 08 or something like that. That's worth a bit, and I, I don't really know why, because it, it looks a terrible game. Uh Angry Video Game Nerd did a video on that and it is absolutely brilliant. Um <laughs> the video is. Um well, yeah, a bit sun faded. It is a little worse for wear, but um and it always makes me laugh, uh, the early, the games um, in the kind of earlier cycle of games on on the PlayStation 3, because, um, you know, you know, with like the Spider-Man writing, it's so Spider-Man, that old writing, it just makes me laugh. Um, yeah, it's funny that they did that. Um, so, yeah, we've got Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So, yeah, that's all there. That's cool. Always a winner. Uh, we've got a disc just fell out. Uh, we've got GTA 5 on Xbox One. Um, I don't know if the case is in here uh, anywhere, but yeah, we've got a, a stray disc. We just move them a sec. Literally run out of space. <laughs> just pop it to one side. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Lego Batman 3. Let's take a quick look to make sure they're in here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
Uh, so Batman 3, there's FIFA 16. Lego Marvel, there's nothing. But it's fine. The, you know, the, there might be some uh, stray discs around. It's fine. I think we need to start checking them. We'll see what's in them. There'll be some absolute surprises in here. Uh, Borderlands, the handsome collection. I wasn't sure what you actually get in this. Uh, so yeah, it includes Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. Um, this is completely remastered with all available bonus add-on content over £100 in value. That's cool. It's it's not a series I've uh, played yet, but I've had it recommended by a few people. I wouldn't mind um, yeah, jumping into that series at some point. Uh, got Pez 2010. Of course, the disc's in that one. <laughs> Jeez, there's, there's so much. So cool to go through. Um, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Yeah, that's in there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Infamous. Briefly played that game. Uh, really, really awesome for the time uh, it came out. I need to play the other ones. Medal of Honor. Pure Football. Stevie G. This is an absolute banger. This is a, this is a gem for the time it came out. Resistance Fall of Man. That's an absolute banger and a half, guys. I loved that game. Yeah, I loved that. Got the first Uncharted. That's in there. Uh, Hitman Absolution. Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Lego Batman the Video Game. There are so many. Jeez, it's cray cray. Lots of common titles, but um, it is a hole and a half, this guy's. Absolute hole and a half. Tomb Raider Underworld. I remember playing this briefly back in the day and um, I didn't take to it too well, but um, I'd probably go back and give, give them another chance to see the other Tomb Raider games. Probably me being too stubborn because um, I'm used to the, the absolute OGs, you know, on the PS1. It's going down nice, guys, while we're rooting through the games. Uncharted 2. Uncharted 3. So, yeah, so far so good. Pretty much about, you know, most of the discs are all in here. Uh, body count, about 50-50, I think, on the manuals. Most of them are, are here. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. In the style of a pile. <laughs> uh, Medal of Honor. This one's uh, the limited edition cover. So this is the last um, within this bag. We've got another bag to go through. Bionic Commando. I don't know what that's like. It's flying around. That's uh, Juice 2. Hot Import Nights. So, yeah, I've not played uh, the second Juice game. I like the first one. It's really good. Uh, Gran Turismo 5. Bayonetta. Whoa. Sorry, guys. <laughs> totally slipped out my hand. Bayonetta. It's still intact. It's all good. Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty. Okay, into the next bag. Absolutely loads. Oh, we've got a random Mrs. Brown's Boys the movie. Didn't see that. That was already there was already a bag full of games. I'd not even rooted through them. Um obviously I'd, I just grabbed them. Um obviously because she said for it for everything for all the games and that. Um again, Hitman Absolution. We've got quite a few doubles out now, actually. So I've got that. Uh, Uncharted 2. Yeah, that's the GTA 4. Absolute classic. I, I really want to go back to GTA 4, you know. Um, I feel like at the time, um, it's, it's just interesting, I think. Um, at the time, I, I was really hovering around um, some GTA forums and because I, I spent so much time glued to every every detail every little glimpse of news on this game and all the hype um it ended up i ended up feeling overhyped for it and I, I feel like it didn't live up to the hype that i experienced but um i bet it is awesome to go back to i really do think so so i definitely want to go back to um gta 4 absolute classic for the playstation um heavy rain it's another one uh, i'd love to go back to uh, do a stream on assassin's creed 4 black flag no stray oh there is there is 
It's a stray disc. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War for the PS4. We've got Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's there. Yeah, for the most part, everything's uh, mostly here. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Mafia 3. I want to play the Mafia series. That's another series I've not yet um, managed to get into. Uh, FIFA 15. Borderlands 2. Real nice uh, slip cover there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm checking, obviously, that everything's there. Um, just out of curiosity. But then I am looking, obviously, to see if there's any stray discs or anything mixed up. Um, to sort them out. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, yeah, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. There's that many Call of Duties I've read out. Uh, there's Advanced Warfare. There is another Advanced Warfare. Oh, and that's actually got Halo 4 in it. <laughs> okay. What's this one? Um, Homefront The Revolution. Uh, Borderlands 3. Some absolute banging titles um, within this. Unbelievable. Uh, FIFA 20. The first Watch Dogs. I loved that when it came out. Not played the, the, the other ones, but um, yeah, loved it when, it when that was released. UFC. Mass Effect Andromeda. Again, another series I need to jump into. Okay, so this is Tom Clancy's The Division, but it has got Call of Duty World War II inside it. So yeah, there's a few uh, mixed up throughout. Uh, there is. Oh, nice. There's a Xbox 360, a 250 gigabyte hard drive. That's cool. It's a nice little find within uh, the bag. So yeah, these are the last ones uh, from the bundle, guys. So we got... F1 2012, Guitar Hero 3, Wally, yep, yeah, it's in there, and Just Cause 3, and that's in there. So, what is that? How many are in there? So, obviously, most of these have got discs in it. So, if I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. 9, 10. We count through. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 17, 8, 9, 20, 21, 22, 25. 25. That's 25. 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32. 35. Obviously, we'll minus 1 because obviously one of the um, things were empty. So 35. That's disc end, 36, 37, 38, 39, that's a DVD, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 40, 49. So, wow. So, for a PS3, 49 games, um, a 360, um, 250 gig hard drive, and two discs... So yeah, literally 51 games and a, and a PS3 for £20. That was absolutely, what a find, guys. I, could, I Honestly, I, I couldn't believe it when she said the price. Um, and I, th I think it probably could have could have got them for 15 because uh, she did just say the console and the games. But obviously with there being another carrier bag, I, I did say that. I thought, I'm going to have to give her more money for that. Um, I thought, we'll have to, I'll see if I make it to 20 or something. Um, but yeah, 20 quid for those it, absolute what a bundle guys unbelievable and um, so yeah that has been um our first car boot episode um i really hope you've enjoyed it and um like i say it's, it's awesome to be back with the car boot uh, episode for you guys um i genuinely have i've thoroughly enjoyed editing through that footage and i'm really um i feel really grateful and lucky that i've actually got enough footage uh today because obviously it all depends on me making these finds but luckily the car boot gods have absolutely shone down on me today um this morning 
Um, so yeah, obviously I've had the footage to be able to make the episodes because sometimes I am struggling to put them together because um, I need the footage. Um, but yeah, it's been incredible. But I just want to thank you guys for sticking by me uh, still because obviously over the past year, my channel has taken a bit of a different direction. I've massively got into live streaming. Uh, we've been growing on multiple platforms. Um, so obviously, you know, here on uh, Holster TV uh, on YouTube. I'm also Holster TV on TikTok and Holster TV Mate over on Twitch. Um, so yeah, we're, we're literally, we're, we're really growing, um, you know, grow, growing uh, the Holster TV uh, name out there across uh, multi-platform streaming. Uh, we've been really growing, going to lots more game events and stuff. So um, yeah, I appreciate uh, your support um, for still sticking by me. And I apologise, obviously, it's taken a long time for to, to get a car boot video out um, for you guys. Um, but like I say, I, I don't want to neglect the car boot videos because that has been, over the years, it has been the backbone of, of this channel. Um, and it's why, you know, it's still going today and um, why we've still got a majority of an audience. Um, so, yeah, like I say, um, thank you for your, for your support on uh, my live streams, if you guys do tune in. And just thank you for your patience and still sticking by me. Um, you know, because like I say, we will still be making um, video game, gaming, miscellaneous pickups uh, throughout the car boots, um, charity shops, game events in the wild. They'll still be coming. Um, I will fit, obviously as many um, game hunts and, and videos in as I can alongside streaming. Uh, so yeah, I just want to thank you all so much. Take care and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Happy cow boot hunting to you guys. Take care of yourselves and see you in a bit. <laughs>